Good morning students. Today we will be doing remaining sums of practice set 17. The difference between the measures of the two angles of a complementary pair is 40. Find the measure of the two angles. Let us consider the measure of the smaller angle of the complementary pair BX and the measure of the greater angle to be x plus 40. Now we know the sum of the measure of two complementary angle is 90. So x plus x plus 40 is equal to 90. 2x is equal to 90 minus 40. 2x is equal to 50. Now taking 2 on the other side, we get x is equal to 50 upon 2 x is equal to 25 smaller angle is 25 for greater angle x plus 40 that is 25 plus 40 which is equal to 65 two angles of a complementary pairs are 25 and 65 the next sum rectangle pt and m Write the names of two angles of a pair of supplementary angles. We know that each angle of a rectangle is of measure 90 degree. The sum of the measures of the supplementary angle is 180 degree. So the pairs are angle P and angle T, angle T and angle N, angle N and angle M, angle M and angle P, angle P and angle N, and angle T and angle M. The next sum. If measure of angle A is 70, what is the measure of the supplementary of the complement of angle A? First, we will find out that the complement of angle A. Let us consider that the measure of complementary angles are 70 degree BX. We know that sum of the measures of complementary angle is 90 degree. 70 plus x is equal to 90. x is equal to 90 minus 70. x is equal to 20. Now we have to find the supplementary angle of 20. Let us consider that the measure of the supplementary angle of 20 to be y. We know that the sum of the measure of the supplementary angle is 180. So 20 plus y is equal to 180 y is equal to 180 minus 20 y is equal to 160 therefore the measure of the required angle is 160 the next sum if angle a and angle b are supplementary of each other if measure angle b is equal to x plus 20 then find measure angle a let us consider that the angle A be Y. We know that sum of the measures of supplementary angle is 180 degree. X plus 20 plus Y is equal to 180. Y is equal to 180 minus X minus Y is equal to 160 minus X. Therefore, measure of angle A is 160 minus X. Next topic, opposite rays. If the two rays having a common origin form a straight line, then the two rays are said to be opposite rays of each other. From figure, we can see that angle CBA is a straight line. Ray BC and ray BA form a straight line. Therefore, ray BC and ray B and ray BA are opposite. Now we'll move to practice set 18. Name the pairs of opposite rays in the given figure. From the figure, we can observe that ray PL is opposite to ray PM and ray PN is opposite to ray PT. So two pairs are PL and PM and PN and PT. Are the rays of PM and PT opposite rays? 
give reason for your answer from figure we can see that pm are not opposite pt because opposite rays form a line but ray pm and ray pt do not form a line homework practice set 17 question 4 to question 7 two times practice set 18 question 1 and question 2 two times thank you